Okay, in this um, tutorial I'm going to share with you how to set up custom redirect links. And now what a custom redirect link is basically um, is when somebody fills out your form instead of going to the actual thank you page of your offer you can have them redirected to an alternative page. This comes in handy in the event that let's say you want to forward the person on to additional information, maybe even daisy chain campaigns together. One will collect their data, the other one might present the offer with the buy it now so you can collect the lead and sell an offer. Or um, in many cases if you're selling clickbait products it's or other affiliate related products it's a great way for you to capture lead data before you pass them on to the offer and then uh, remarket to them so there's some neat things you can do with that I'm gonna walk you through how to set that up it's actually very simple what you can do is log into your system and you're gonna edit your campaign or when you create a new campaign either one you're gonna go in and go into the content area now the content area, that's where you go in to edit the offer page and thank you page. We're not going to worry about the thank you page right now because we're not going to be using it. We're going to be forwarding them off to a new page. So I'm going to edit the content here. And this takes a quick second to load. And once that loads up, you're going to see an area in the main header up here that says redirect. Uh, it's actually very simple. I just click this and I choose the option option use custom redirect and then I put in the address where I want the form to redirect my client to and then this says open a new window and the reason this is here is if you're running a CPV campaign or let's say your websites I framed in and that's where it's framed into another site or something this will actually break them out of that frame so it's a good option to have on I'm not going to use it this time because this ad is just one that I'm pushing out independently of any other system so I'm gonna hit save your changes and once that successfully saves go ahead and hit save and then preview and this is gonna open up the site and going to go ahead and take a look at it. Let me hit the site opens up and we're going to fill out this form. Put one more five in my email. And then my email is your email at email.com and I hit submit. Now what you're going to see here is when the form submitted, it redirected my client or me or whoever fills it out to addaction.com where I specified and because I'm logged in it pulls in my back office. But if I was not logged in, if I were to click this log out button, it would have redirected me straight to addaction.com bypassing the thank you page and accomplishing my goal of redirecting the client to an alternative page after they fill out the cells the lead form hope this has been helpful let us know if you have any questions thanks